Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem contains duplicate two. We're given an integer array of nums and an integer k. We wanna return true if there are two distinct indices i and j such that the two values at those indices are equal and the absolute value difference between those indices is less than or equal to k. Now the most important thing to recognize here is that by this statement, they mean that the size of the window between the two elements is less than or equal to K. So take the first example, we have one, two, three, one. Clearly we do have some duplicate values here, one and one, they are at different indices. And the question is, is the size of the window less than or equal to K? Well, not exactly actually, that's another edge case that you have to keep track of. When we have I and J pointing at the same value here, what's the size of this window? Well, it's one, there's just a single element, but what's the absolute value of the difference between those two indices? Zero minus zero, that's that's gonna equal zero. So this equation is off by one. Now what about this window from zero all the way to three? It's of course of size four. Does it satisfy the absolute value? Well, we take three minus zero, that gives us three, or we could have done the opposite and gotten the absolute value of zero minus three. It would have equaled three in the end anyway. Is this value less than or equal to K? Yes, it is. So this is a valid window. So basically, Basically, the problem is asking us, can we find a valid window of size K plus one such that there are duplicate values in that window? Well, what's the easiest way to solve this problem? Well, let's assume our K value in this case, instead of being three, it was actually one. In that case, we would want windows of size two. What would be the brute force way to solve this problem? Well, just check every single window. Check this window, are there any duplicates? Check this window, are there any duplicates? And keep doing that for every window. What's the easiest way to identify duplicates? Usually a hash set or a hash map is pretty easy because we can insert and look up values in constant time. There's one slight improvement here that we can make though. Instead of brute force checking every value in this window and then restarting over here and checking every value in this window and then restarting over here, checking every value here, we can use the sliding window technique, which if you're familiar with it, it's pretty obvious that it can be applied to this problem because this whole problem is about windows. So we would start our window like this, we have one and two, and then when we shift our window over here, we keep this value in the window, but we would remove this from our window and add this value to our window and check are there any duplicates here now. And we would keep doing that until we got to the end of the array or that we did find duplicate values, in which case all we have to do is return true. We don't have to return the actual indices of those duplicates. So doing it this way, the time complexity will be O of N because we're using a sliding window. We're never gonna add the same element to the hash set more than once. And the memory complexity for the hash set is gonna be also O of N. Well, actually it's more accurate to say O of K in this case, where K, I guess the max value it could be is N, but O of K is probably more accurate here. So now let's code it up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is initialize our window hash set. This is gonna keep track of all the values in our window. We're gonna have two pointers to define our window. We're gonna have the left pointer, which is gonna start at the beginning. And we're also gonna have a right pointer, but we don't need to initialize that because we can just use it in our looping here. We're gonna go through every position in the input array nums. For every value at index R, we're gonna check, has it already been added to our window? If it has, then that must mean we found a duplicate, in which case we can just go ahead and return true. Otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and add that value to our window, nums of R. But remember the case, as we shift, we don't want our window to be greater than the, I think it was K plus one. So before we even do this, it's important that we make sure to do this before. Before we do it, we have to check if our window is indeed too large, which we could check by saying right minus left is greater than K, then we know the window is too big. Because remember, we know it's allowed to be less than or equal to K, but if it's greater than K, then that's a problem. We have an invalid window. In which case, the easy thing to do is just to remove 
the leftmost value and also increment our left pointer. And that's pretty much about it. If we never end up returning true, then out here we should probably return false. And let's run the code to make sure that it works. And as you can see, yes, it does. And it's pretty efficient. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. If you're preparing for coding interviews, check out neatcode.io. It has a ton of free resources to help you prepare. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you pretty soon.